Hello, everybody. Today, I'm talking about Sun in Aries. It is exalted. It is with Jupiter. Then it's going to get joined by Venus. Uh, after all the turbulence, this is very good news. Sun is in Aries from 13th of April to uh, 14th May. Let us explore. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton and we are talking Sun in Aries. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. So Sun in Aries goes in on 13th of April and will remain there till 14th of May. And 13th of April is a day to celebrate every year. It is Baisakhi in North India. It is also celebrated as Vishu in Kerala. And there may be other festivals as well. Uh, it's a harvest time and it's uh, full of joy. And for us as well, because uh, we have been going through some very difficult transits, the eclipses and the Mars-Saturn conjunction and the various Rahu-Ketu influences. And now uh, we are coming out on the other side of it. And the sun is leaving uh, Pisces, moving into Aries, which is its exaltation sign. Also, after many years, the uh, sun is exalted without Rahu being there. Uh, Rahu was in Aries for 18 months and last year this time uh, there was a solar eclipse in Aries. So uh, no solar eclipse in Aries. We have done that. We have moved on and, uh, you know, dealt with that difficult period of the year. And uh, with the sun exalted and not only just exalted, it is with the um, Jupiter, Jupiter's in Aries uh, till 1st of uh, uh, May and uh, Venus comes in as well on uh, 24th of uh, April and then 1st of May, uh, Jupiter moves on. But the good news is that when uh, Sun goes into Taurus and Jupiter is waiting it uh, there as well. So uh, that means that we have some uh, good light, good energy, uh, renewal, healing time after the very uh, difficult energies. Of course, not all the things are easy just now. Uh, there is still a Mars-Rahu conjunction uh, to uh, experience and uh, Mercury is continuing to be retrograde. But you see the sun, it brings light to us. And when he brings light to us, he uh, focuses our attention on different things. So uh, last month, Sun was focusing on, um, you know, the eclipses and all the light was fractured, not easy. Now Aries with Jupiter, with Venus coming there, there's a much, much easier energy. Uh, plus we have a a uh, special day because when sun is exalted in Aries, then uh, moon also comes uh, uh, exalted. And on Tritiya Tithi, it's called Akshay Tritiya. Akshay Tritiya is the third lunar day after new moon. And this is this year on 10th of May. Akshay Tritiya is a very auspicious day regarded as the most auspicious day of the year. And again, last year, we had Akshay Tritiya, but Sun was with Rahu. So it wasn't as pleasurable as this year, but uh, Sun is going to be alone. Uh, Moon is going to be in Taurus and Jupiter is also in Taurus by the time Akshay Tritiya happens. So all over, it's a beautiful day. Now, Akshay Tritiya means the Tithi that cannot be destroyed. So it's a very uh, special day. So, uh, what to do for Akshay Tritiya? 
Now, it's a belief that any good deeds done on Akshay Tritiya are multiplied by millions of times. So therefore, let us do something positive. Make a donation, however small, because you think about the multiplicity, uh, you can do a good deed, uh, give something back to society. Of course, people like to buy gold on Akshay Tritiya. People like to you know, invest on that day. So if you want more material things, then you can buy gold and invest. And I always feel that when these days are auspicious, we should do something good for the world, for our family, people near us. Uh, and that should not be in terms of money. But donation is good. Karma yoga is good. So what about Sun and Aries, let us explore. And remember, we are looking at the ascendant and moon sign. Aries, of course, you are getting Sun and Aries, very nice for you. And Mars Saturn is over. So this is a good month. The focus is on yourself. You can think, what is it that you want to do? Where do you want to go in the next year? Always very pleasurable for you. Uh, Taurus. Uh, sun is in the 12th house. So 12th house is the house of giving, giving back to the world. It can be an expensive time for you because Venus also comes there. So watch your expenses, but otherwise think more spiritually and you will be rewarded. Uh, Gemini, uh, sun is in the 11th house for you. Focusing on the 11th house, Jupiter, Venus are going to be there. And Part of this way, Mercury goes direct and uh, you're more able to uh, focus on things uh, and uh, uh, enjoy this. It will also give opportunity for uh, more money, better financial, because 11th house is a house of profit. So, uh, sun in the 10th house, extremely good for you, a good opportunity professionally, uh, you know, the world opening up for you. Uh, good to think about what you want for your future at this stage. Of course, Jupiter, Venus, both there highlighting, I would say professional success more. Leo, you've been going through some difficult time. The eclipse hit you hard. Uh, things were not working for you, but now sun is in Aries, your Lagna Lord, your Moon Lord. And it's going in the ninth house of higher mind, higher ideas, and uh, uh, good advice as well. Uh, I would say enjoy. Go. Uh, sun is in the eighth house. So eighth house is house of transformation uh, and change. It's not the best uh, transit for you, uh, but good news is this, that Mercury is... Uh, uh, getting direct on 25th and then Jupiter will go into Taurus. Uh, and uh, so things are getting better for you. Good time to, to do some research, look deeper into um, uh, your soul and spend some uh, good time meditating. Bra Sun is in the seventh house of marriage relationships. And again, very good to think about uh, what you want from uh, your relationships to also spend time with your loved one uh, so that you can, uh, you know, use this positive energy. And Venus is also going to be there, your Lagna Lord, Moon Lord, and uh, Jupiter is there. So lots of uh, benefic energy shining there. Scorpio, uh, Aries is your sixth house. Now, sun's transit in sixth house is quite okay. Uh, sixth house is also a house of opposition or overcoming opposition. Uh, sun is highlighting areas that are bothering you, uh, maybe people, competition that is bothering you, but it's also giving you tricks and ways how to deal with it, overcome. It's a good time to also think about your health and what are you going to do about it. And of course, Mars-Saturn conjunction is over. So you're the other side of the uh, uh, obstacles and difficulties. So uh, that is also uh, much better for you. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries is your uh, fifth house. 
of uh, creative ideas, children, general good luck, excellent transit for you. Uh, Jupiter is also in Aries till 1st of May and uh, definitely highlighting also uh, can give you good luck, good opportunity at this time with the sun's transit. Uh, time out and spend time with your children or if you don't have children, creative ideas, uh, and uh, you'll have a lot of inspiration. Capricorn, uh, sun is going into your fourth house. So even though sun is not the best planet for you, sun by transit is highlighting specific areas of your life. And this is a fourth house home, happiness. Uh, so think what you can do improving your home, uh, think about what uh, you want to change there and also what is making you happy, uh, that would also be good. Aquarius Sun is in the third house of self-effort, initiative, drive. Uh, it's a very good transit for you. You know, you are a bit restricted because Saturn continues to be in Aquarius. So you don't have total freedom to do whatever you want to. But certainly Sun will give a lot of energy and also it shows that your partners feel uh, much more positive and looking towards the future than they were last month. So they will be supporting you too. Uh, Pisces, Sun is in the second house of investment, money, uh, finances. Uh, so uh, it's highlighting that area. If you think you want to invest, you want to do something uh, special for your future to uh, create more security support for you, then this is a good time for you. So that is it for today. Thank you very much. Do remember to subscribe.